Well, my name is Mary Angela Simon, Brazilian, and I'm a pediatrician by training, but have worked in public health my entire life. I worked at, in Brazil, the national health system, in different levels throughout the years, but I also worked at the UN, at UNAIDS, and also in WHO in the past years as Director General for, uh, Assistant Director General for Access to Medicines and Health Products. We see that many formulations for adults, many medicines for adults, diseases that also affect children, are not available in formulations for children. You know, and this is the, the fight, you know, but this, we cannot give up on that. And I think the, the Access to Medicines Foundation, because of its structured work, its, uh, its network, the way it works with investors and companies and, and the public, responsibility and social responsibility that that is attached to the the assessment of the index and so on this can help a lot you know in making the case for children medication a tangible one something that can bring results in our lifetime not in the next lifetime the work of the foundation through the index and and other methods that, that the Foundation uses is extremely helpful because it's a systematic approach. You know, and it can, can be measured throughout the years and can be compared. It can be used for companies to redirect their access policies. My request for industry is that the technologies that were proven to be safe and effective for adults and that are uh, could be used for children, that they are developed for children as well. <laughs>